Okay, we're putting everything together with 3.6 with curve sketching. So uh, we're going to find the first derivative and create uh, the sine line, the slope uh, sine line for f prime. And then we're going to find um, uh, second derivative and determine uh, the slope line for concavity and for POI. So first thing, uh, we're going to try and fill in uh, these um, uh, these pieces of information that the problem is asking for. So x-intercepts, y-intercepts, vertical asymptote, and horizontal asymptotes. All this and domain is all coming from the uh, just the original function without having to look at um, the first or second derivative function. So if we look at this original function here, there's a polynomial, so we know the domain is all real numbers. There's no breaks in the graph, no horizontal, no vertical asymptotes. To find um, x-intercepts, we're going to uh, replace y with 0. And solve for x here, we can factor out x cubed. So we can set x cubed equal to 0, uh, as well as negative 3x squared plus 5 equal to 0. We get plus or minus root 5 over 3. So we have three x-intercepts, and the y-intercept will simply be 0, 0. Plug 0 in for x, and we get y equals 0. Okay, if we, to find critical points, we go to this first derivative, go through power rule. We get negative 15x to the fourth plus 15x squared. Factor out the negative 15x squared. Set that uh, times x squared minus 1. Continue factoring. Set our derivative equal to 0. And now we can find our critical points, which will be 0, negative 1, and 1. We put all that on the sign line. And then we choose values in each interval, plug into the derivative function, and uh, we determine whether we get positive or negative uh, slope in each interval. So if I plug negative 2 in, I'll get a negative, uh, a negative, and a negative which will be negative. If I plug in negative 1 half, I will get um, a positive, negative, and negative, which is positive. Plug 1 half, I'll get a positive as well. Plug in 2, I'll get negative, 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 so that gives me a negative. So I know that my graph will be falling, followed by rising. Uh, continues rising, and then uh, hits a maximum, and then um, uh, falls after that. Okay, so now we can get to our second derivative function, um, which we take our first derivative and go through power rule again. So we get negative 60x cubed plus 30x. We set that equal to 0. Factor out to negative 30x. Um, and we're left with 2x squared minus 1. So x equals 0 and x equals plus or minus uh, root 1 over 2. Now we plug all this onto the sign line. And then we test each interval by choosing values and plugging into the second derivative. If we get a positive value, it's concave up. If we get a negative, it's concave down. Here I can choose negative 3, for instance, or negative 2. And I'll get positive and negative, which is negative. If I choose um, a negative 1 half, um, I will get a um, negative and, a po sorry, positive and a negative, which is negative. Here I'll get positive, positive, and here I will get um, a positive, negative. So we know that there are uh, three points of inflection because at each uh, critical point there's a change in signs. And uh, now based off of these two sign lines we can uh, determine um, at a relative extrema, POI, uh, where the graph is increasing and decreasing, as well as where uh, the graph is concave up and concave down. So just based off of all this, we can create um, um, because statements. And uh, we know that there is going to be relative min at negative 1 because we see the change in slope from negative to positive. We know there's a relative max at 1 because we see a change of slope from, neg from positive to negative. And if I want to find the order pairs, uh, I just plug these x values back into the original function. Okay, if I'm looking ever for order pairs, they go back into the original function. Okay, and uh, with the second derivative, um, 
we know that we have intervals where there's concave up, intervals where there's concave down, and if I want to find those points of inflections, I'm going to plug all those x values back into the, into the original function. So uh, the order pairs come out um, where relative max is 1, 2, relative min is negative 1, negative 2, and then we have um, uh, 3. Uh, there should be 3 points of inflection, which is um, negative root 2 over 2, negative 1.24, root 2 over 2, 1.24, as well as 0, 0. And what we can do is we can put all these points onto the graph. And when we do that, we have our relative min. We have our two points of inflection. Um, we have another point of inflection there. And then we have a relative max. And then uh, we can put all of the information from both sign lines onto one sign line so that we can pair up slopes with concavity. Now, um, uh, we see that there are uh, uh, five critical points and uh, two are shared because um, uh, both uh, F prime and F double prime have zero as critical points. But we're going to put all, all of them onto the same sign line and we're just going to fill in the uh, respective slopes and the respective uh, concavity onto the sign lines. Now, based off of how they're paired, um, this will determine um, how we want to uh, sketch the curve, uh, what type of curvature we want to have. Uh, so here are the four types. So we have uh, two that you can think of it as making up part of a uh, graph that is uh, concave up, where graph is opening up. So where the graph is concave up, um, we have two options one where slope is decreasing and one slope where slope is increasing and here we have portions that look like um, uh, parts of a graph where, this, where, the, where the graph is concave down um, um, where it looks like a uh, uh, where it looks like a, a, uh, a graph that, that opens down a, a parabola, parabola that opens down both of them concave down here we have uh, where slope is positive, and then here we have slope is negative and concave down. So we have these five points, and we're just going to be connecting those points using the appropriate curvature. So to the left of negative 1, we want a graph that is negative slope and concave up. So we want to have this shape for this portion. Okay, the next part, from negative 1 to negative root 2 over 2, we want increasing concave up. So increasing concave up, we want this graph to resemble this curvature. Increasing concave down, so increasing concave down, we want this curvature. So we put that um, for this um, region. From 0 to root 2 over 2, we want increasing concave up. So increasing slope concave up. So we'll have this shape. Increasing concave down. So we have this shape there. And finally, decreasing concave down. Okay. So now we've graphed our curve. And we can fill in um, all of the respective information uh, that we found from the graph.